welcome to the third session of personality and in this session I Dr. Shavanti Mukherjee will talk about the brand personality and self concept. So, here we first try to define what is a brand personality. In the last two sessions we have talked about the personality of a person, personality of a consumer, but here we will uh, discuss about what is a personality of a brand. So, we define like going by the lines of Ecker in 1997. So, we do can define brand personality as a set of human characteristics associated with a brand. So, what is that? That is like a person uses fair and handsome or it is targeted to the person who wants to be fair and uh, he is thinking that the uh, tall and uh, the dark and handsome the ideal uh, Indian concept he thinks that no it should be uh, fair and handsome. So, the fairness was uh, that that particular aspect he is looking about because for him fair look uh, gives him a better acceptability in the society and better notice in the society. So, that is how uh, he is inclined to the fair and handsome and if you remember the te television commercial of uh, fair and handsome they are also Shah Rukh Khan is being noticed by one ordinary boy and he thinks that if I also can get the glamour of Shah Rukh Khan because he is also every daily shooting he is there. So, it is a tough life in which he is, but still he is still maintaining his glamour, he is surrounded with so many girls. So, therefore, the boy aspires a life of Shah Rukh Khan and Shah Rukh Khan is very fair. So, then fair and handsome is a solution which has been shown. So, therefore, it is a human characteristics of the brand fair and handsome that you know it relates to the fair and handsome person. So, the brand stands in that way. A car, a bike may be showing a masculine uh, characteristic. So, the bike and masculinity, the masculinity is a human character, but we are saying it is a masculine brand like Bajaj Pulsar. So, like this. So, a distinctive brand personality can help to create a set of unique and positive association in consumers memory and thus construct and boost up the brand equity of that particular brand. As a result, the brand personality is considered to be an imperative aspect for the success of a brand in terms of the preference and choice criteria. Indeed, an well established brand uh, persona can result in stronger emotional knots with the customers and thereby higher mutual trust and loyalty and thus providing an enduring basis for differentiation and this could be hard to very hard to imitate. For example, Maggi noodles in itself shows that 2 minutes noodles and when Maggi came back it is mainly focused on the grown up children who from the childhood is consuming Maggi. So, that childhood emotion that they were coming from the uh, play field and then they are asking mummy um, bhook lagi hai, give me Maggi. So, that particular aspect when they are coming back from hostel now year after years and uh, they are asking to their mother who, who the mother's character was played by the Tinawal and they are asking their mother that the same in a same way that bhook lagi hai and we want something. So, that was the emotional connect with by using the nostalgia appeal. Okay, because that shows the level of trust, the level of loyalty of the customers for this brand which personifies kind of uh, easy solution for our hunger. So, there is an happy go like kid like uh, emotion which has been attached to the product as such which is attached to the people those who are consuming it. So, earlier studies of consumer personality based on Freud's psychoanalytic theory have shown that human motives for buying a product are largely very unconscious. Sometimes we do not even know why impulsively we have selected a particular toy for the ch or the child has demanded a particular toy maybe for the light, maybe for the color, maybe for both light and color we do not know. So, therefore, many times because of some unconscious motive it may be chosen. This means that many times customers are not aware of the actual purpose of purchase for what they are purchasing the product. 
So, researchers like Alan Hitch has proved that the customers buying situations are quite often reflected by their own personality. I am buying uh, every uh, year I am changing my mobile handset because I am a very extroverted and innovative person and I want to show in the society that I am a very tech savvy person and I am a very trendy person. So, that is the reflection I want in the society. So, that is how the, the choice of snacks, drinks, clothes, gadget, everything are not only the because of my economic standard, because with the same economic standard, I may not be purchasing a, a mobile handset every year. For me, convenience with the same set may be, I am of that kind of person, I do not want to change. So, like TVS Scooty brand also rationalized its portfolio into three sub brands. For example, Scooty Pape, Scooty Tins and Scooty Strick for different customer personalities. So, although say Scooty Tins and Scooty Pips are targeted towards the same customer group, the personality of the target customers of Strick is quite interesting. Why? If you look at here, Scooty Pips says it is targeted towards the female community. It says that do your own things. So, girls independence has been highlighted there. Okay, independent girl having a scooty, taking the child to drop the um, child to the school or going to the market or whatever, this there are independence of movement. And it shows the personality uh, type which has been shown is new age girl with a bold attitude. The scooty trick, if you see, this is the tagline is sinfully black. So, very unusual tagline with a female brand. And here, this tries to show the rebellion kind of personality. Uh, which means that I want to be very distinct in the society. I am not like the other girls, those who are homely. Uh, anyway, they are outspoken, they are, they are going for their work field and all, but then at the end of the day, they, they also are very family oriented kind of person. But streak is not for that. Streak is like a little bit of rebellions, indulgence, sexy, naughty, independent, young. So, that is the consumer's personality which they are trying and that is which they are targeting at that kind of people they are targeting with targeting with this product uh, scooty streak and that is why they have used this very unusual tag tagline sinfully black so uh, before going to the self concept i will again eliminate i'll try to tell you about little more matching a small caselet about the brands was consumers understanding about the brand's personality and marketers use of that. The very good and very nicely positioned uh, uh, a brand based on personality is the Reed and Taylor. So, Reed and Taylor when it came to uh, the sustained brand when it came to our country, the first promotion was uh, done by the celebrity Piers Brosnan who plays the role of James Bond. And therefore, the tagline was born with the best. Now, this product is was targeted to the elegant um, corporate or maybe the business world person, but elegant a uh, little bit of middle aged um, esteemed person. Now, this bond is much more James Bond is much more a youth concept. He, he is energetic, he is uh, intelligent, he is youth. He is uh, experimental, he is uh, adventurous, that kind of person. So, that kind and he is liked by so many uh, girls. So, his image is totally a very, he is an youth icon we can say and is a global youth icon. And therefore, this James Bond kind of concept did not uh, synchronize with the kind of personality the brand is actually targeting to. So, this commercial did not work. So, after they have changed it now. After changing, the second phase was like they tried to connect it with the uh, family kind of family occasion. Like uh, parents anniversary, the children are children and others are there celebrating this. Now, in this also celebrating parents anniversary is not uh, very widely goes with um, our particularly if we talk about uh, in, in not many families. Uh, we can see this in some families of course, it is there they are very modern, but uh, in many many times sometimes it is not it is not very common actually. So, people could not 
relate with that esteemed need and uh, celebrating uh, parents anniversary. So, therefore, uh, the next attempt of this brand was roping in Mr. Amita Bachchan as uh, the brand ambassador of Regent Taylor and then they started writing uh, reach the height of 6 feet 2 inch. Does not mean that the person has to become tall or uh, you know should be having the height of 6 feet 2 inch, it is not so, but it is like you know the elegance, the uh, glamour, the, the kind of uh, esteem which Amita Bachchan is having. That particularly is eliteness, his elegance, which could be associated with this brand. So, Amitabh Bachchan's elegance, the brand want to portray it as an elegant brand and it is targeting the elegant customers. These three synchronized and therefore, it worked very well. And even in the, so that is how initially it was shown that Mr. Bachchan is uh, wearing it in only one particular, in different occasions. So, it is a special brand for special person in special occasion that is how it was uh, it was positioned, but then uh, in the next ad the same Mr. Bachchan has uh, come and it is showing that in several occasions he is coming up down from his heli uh, personal uh, helicopter and he is going for a corporate meet that time also he is wearing written tailor, when he is joining a marriage party he is wearing written tailor. So, therefore, it is shown that and when he is with uh, he is uh, relaxing with some kids he is with uh, he is wearing red and tailor. So, it is shown that if a person is a, a stretcher of uh, the elite and elegant person like Amitabh Bachchan. So, for all his moods for all his requirements he can actually use uh, red and tailor. So, that is how the bonding was very perfect and the brand did not need to look back. Now, coming to the concept of self concept. Self concept is the totality of individual thoughts and feelings having reference to him or her as an object, which means what I think about myself. How do I think? What kind of personality do I have? So, that. So, lifestyle in many ways is an outward expression of one's self concept. I feel I am very happy go lucky. So, that is how I behave in the society in that way. The idea in particularly in the self concept idea that holds that an individual has a concept of self based on how they think they are and the concept about how they would like to be. Do they like to be like fair as Salman um, this uh, Shah Rukh Khan or they want to be having a kind of stretcher a very nice uh, good dancer and a very gym oriented person you know by a health conscious person like Hrithik Roshan like what kind of idea do I have about myself that will actually motivate me in uh, you know like where I am and what I want to be and this gap actually develops the need for certain products. I want to be very beautiful like uh, say Karina Kapoor and but I, I think I am not so conscious about my skin, but then uh, this Lux flower bomb this particular ad may catch my attention because that is a product which can bridge this need between what I want to be and what I am. Okay. So, that is that is what uh, so something I want to be and uh, something I am this is what I think okay. it is not what the society personality when we talked about personality is what others are thinking about me, but in self concept it is what I think about myself my own personality. Okay. So, these concepts are linked with two key concepts of psychoanalytic theory the ego and super ego. In fact, ego is similar to one's objective reality, so that it can be treated as similar to the actual self. On the other hand super ego is defined by the way things should be and hence can be seen as a reflection of the ideal self. So, this was the concept of uh, this was the concept of self concept we say. Now, we talk about a little bit of different aspect that is the meaning transfer model propounded by Macrican in 1989 and he suggested a comprehensive model and that is known as meaning transfer model. Now, what is this? This is actually the three stage model. The three stage model suggests that how the meaning associated with a famous person flows from endorser to the product or to the brand. Right now, I said that the image of Amitabh Bachchan has flowed to the um, understanding of an elegant, uh, very dynamic um, and, and a successful accomplished person. So, that is the understanding about Amitabh Bachchan. 
So therefore, the brand in which he is getting associated, I think that the brand is made for this kind of person, this kind of people. Therefore, this meaning is attributed to the celebrity get associated with the brand and in the customer's mind. And then finally, in the now after this, I have bought Fred and Taylor, you know, and then I consume it. Once I consume, which means I wear it. And after wearing, if I also feel after wearing, I feel uh, the same kind of I am looking elegant, or others are you know feeling that I am looking elegant, then only that brand's meaning gets embossed in my mind. Otherwise, not. Otherwise, after some time, it would be erased from my mind. It will be a long term memory if you know the, uh, my consumption also uh, justifies the kind of as understanding I had from the brand because of the celebrity endorser's personality. The third stage of the model therefore, uh, states about the significance of customers role in the process of endorsing the brands with the famed person. So, therefore, we can see here first is meaning acquisition of the customer. Now, here also why customer traits are important because certain things I will perceive based on my own understanding about elegance, eliteness and maybe uh, accomplished person. Now, who is an accomplished person to me? It may be a person who is a famous movie star. Some people may not like to watch movies. So, to them the accomplished person may be a sports star like Sachin Tendulkar. So, therefore, my understanding about this accomplishedness, my understanding about the, uh, the elegance might be little different. My understanding about elegance may not be related to accomplishment, my uh, understanding about elegance uh, may be related to a person belonging to a royal family or a zamindar family. So, that is how I may feel that Sharmila Tegar or Saif Ali Khan is very elegant, while I may not assume in that case Sachin Tendulkar is elegant, if my understanding about elegance depends on that uh, the person should be from a royal family to be elegant. But if it is accomplishment, which I think by which makes the person elegant, his way of his sophistication, the way his so, uh, sober attitude, his um, determination that shows his elegance, then of course, I will assume that the personality of Sachin Tendulkar is a very elegant personality. So, this depends on the customer's understanding of out, uh, the uh, personality traits also. So, uh, um, so therefore, that is how you know the meaning acquisition would be there. After that, they will see the endorsement and this endorsement will actually transfer from the celebrity to the product. I will assume the product also as I perceive the celebrity. And thereafter is the consumption, after consumption what is my feeling? Is it the same which I have perceived before I have consumed the brand? If yes, then that would get embossed in my mind. So, therefore, factors now therefore, it is very important when I go for a celebrity endorser, it should match with the the product characteristics and the celebrities characteristics, the brand's characteristics, personality and the celebrities personality should match well. So, factors that matching the celebrity and the brand image if you see that celebrity fits with the brand image along with the celebrity target audience should match and the celebrity associated values and celebrity product match should be there. Then cost to obtain the celebrity of course, and his or her popularity along with the controversy risk associated with the celebrity is also a very important parameter. Tiger Roots was very close related to Accenture, because Accenture talks about the um, uh, performance and uh, Tiger Woods, Tiger Roots was a uh, Tiger Root was a demigod of golf at that time. So, Tiger Root and uh, Accenture was almost co-branded. Now, after uh, this you know the scandals of uh, Tiger Roots and when he admitted that, so immediately Accenture uh, had to diverse with Tiger Roots, because it may actually portray a wrong meaning of performance to the customers. And they had to completely re, uh, you know reorient their promotion and you know somehow they managed to build it on their performance. So, this kind of risk is always there when particularly when you are using the uh, celebrity, because they are the living people. So, you never know in which controversy or in which negative things they will get associated to. Now, credibility, availability and the physical charisma of the personality or the celebrity is also one parameter which you should 
think for. Here we have talked about three important concepts. One is the concept of brand personality, what does it mean? Assuming brand as a person. Second is the self concept, how an individual want to see themselves, their actual self and their ideal self, what they think about themselves and they, what they want to be. And the third aspect we talked about is the Macricans meaning transfer model, how a celebrity's personality um, is, translate, is translated to the brand's personality as because they are endorsing it and then uh, after consumption the customers may think the brand's personality in a different way if the uh, assumptions of brand personality which they have made earlier does not match with the consumption experience. Otherwise, if it matches it gets a permanent the brand personality permanently gets embossed in their mind. So, this is all what we have discussed. So, thank you for now and we will look forward to meet you in the next session.